Welcome to the body scan. The body scan is a guided journey through the body, investigating it with awareness and compassion. This practice is intended to help you learn to be fully present and awake to the different experiences in the body, whatever they may be. Sometimes there may be pleasant sensations in the body. Some may be unpleasant. And you may also notice that in some areas of the body, there may be no sensation at all. The body scan is not about having a particular experience. There is no right way to feel and there is no state that we need to achieve, not even relaxation. Letting go of the tendency we all have to want things to be different than they are right now. Instead, being gentle with yourself, allowing yourself to simply be aware of what is happening in each passing moment. Acknowledging what you find in each passing moment in yourself, looking at it clearly and being present with it as it is. Use the instructions for guidance as best you can, watching the body and any activity of your mind as we go along. Letting the judgmental and critical thoughts simply come and go without having to believe them or make them go away. Just being interested and curious and present to thoughts as they come and go, to emotions as they come and go, and to whatever sensations may be here. It is helpful to see this time as a time for you, an opportunity to be by yourself and with yourself fully. Allowing it to be a nourishing time, knowing that whatever your experience is during the practice, whether you feel restless, bored, relaxed, curious, or a combination of them all, just doing the practice as best you can is all that is required. You can do the body scan in any posture or position that feels best for you. You can lie on your back or if this is uncomfortable, sit or even stand if you choose to do so. And it is always okay to change your posture during the practice. So if you're lying down on your back on a mat on the floor or on a couch or even on your bed, if you are confident that you'll be able to stay awake, Allowing the toes, the feet and the legs to be fully extended, falling away from each other. The arms beside the body, the hands with the palms up, if this is comfortable for you. Allowing the eyes to gently close or keeping them open if you prefer. Becoming aware of the contact with the floor. Just tuning in with the points of contact between the body and the floor. Feeling the whole back of the body. Perhaps the heels pressing a bit deeper into the mat. The legs. The buttocks. The upper back and the shoulders. 
the arms and the hands, and back of the head. with the whole of the body as it lies here on the floor. Allowing things to be exactly as we find them and allowing you to be exactly as you are. Seeing if you can practice with curiosity with an open and kind attitude. And now bringing your attention to the fact that you are breathing. Experiencing the breath coming into the belly. Noticing how as the breath breathes the belly rises, expands a bit. And as the breath flows out, the belly falls back a bit. If you find it helpful, moving your hands onto your belly to feel the movement of this breath breathing. As the belly expands and deflates. that this is not a breathing exercise where we actively influence the breath or try to achieve a certain kind of breathing. In the body scan, we do not need to change the breath in any way. Just noticing sensations of the breath. notice that under the influence of your focus, the breath changes somewhat in speed, in depth or in rhythm. This is perfectly okay. Knowing that the breath is always there, regulating itself without us having to adjust it in any way. Just noticing sensations of breath and following its movement as the abdomen expands on the in-breath and flattens on the out-breath. Now, when you're ready, shifting the focus of your intention, of your attention from the belly all the way down through the left leg, coming to the toes of the left foot. Feeling the toes exactly as they are. Moving up close, noticing sensations in the toes of the left foot. Perhaps there's this sense of warmth, of tingling, any sort of textures. And perhaps not noticing any sensations at all and knowing that that is okay too. Just noticing how this is for you right now. The big toe, the little toe, the toes in between, breathing with them, bringing gentle curiosity to noticing the quality of any sensation that you are feeling in your toes.
Moving from the toes now to the sole of the left foot. The ball and the arch, the heel. Discovering what sensations you find here. The soul that is always carrying us everywhere. And being curious what you notice when you bring attention to the sole of the left foot. So moving to the top of the left foot. Aware of sensations at the skin, perhaps. And maybe also somewhat deeper into the foot itself. Now expanding this focus of attention to include the entire left foot. Simply breathing in and out with the attention on the left foot. And moving now to the left ankle, circling the left ankle with this investigation. The bones of this joint and the skin, the inside, the outside, the front and the back. Being present with the left ankle. Now moving further up the leg, coming to the area between the ankle and the knee, the lower leg. Sensing perhaps the firmness of the calf muscles at the back, pressing into the mat. And perhaps also aware of the shin bone on top of the left lower leg. Maybe the touch of clothing or any sensations in this part of the body. now to the left knee, circling this part of the body with this focus of attention, exploring the back of the left knee, the hinge of this joint, the kneecap, any sensation that you find here in the left knee. We explore the body in this way with curiosity and interest. You may find that certain parts of the body are difficult to focus on. You may find yourself distracted by physical sensations, by sleepiness, by thoughts or by emotions. And as soon as you notice that the mind is distracted in, in any way, as you can direct, directing the attention to what is happening in this moment. Simply acknowledging the particular sensation, the thought or the emotion. 
recognizing it without having to analyze the situation and without having to go into the contents of the thought or the emotion. Simply know that they are here and gently recognizing them and then returning the attention to the body. And coming to the left thigh now, exploring. Perhaps sensing the weight and the strong muscle of the thigh. And maybe aware of pulsation, of circulation in this part of the leg. And maybe there are other sensations present in the left thigh. Breathing with this awareness and being present to whatever is here for you in sensation right now. And coming right up to the place where the thigh bone rests in the hip socket. And coming to the left hip and directing your awareness now from the left hip in a horizontal line, coming to the right hip. And now when you're ready, directing the focus all the way down the right leg, coming to the right foot and now finding the toes the big toe and all of the other toes of the right foot. And what is here? What, what do you find at this part of the body? Perhaps there's a sense of dryness, of moisture. Perhaps it's a touch of the air or the feeling of a sock or a blanket touching the foot. Noticing what is here for you. And if there's no sensation, being aware of that. Noticing now the sole of the right foot the ball of the right foot and the arch and the heel. Perhaps feeling the contact that the heel may be making with the surface you are resting on. And coming to the top of the right foot now exploring what is present here. And broadening now, opening your attention to include this whole right foot all the sensations at the surface of the skin, whatever sensations there may be, perhaps also deeper within the foot and breathing. Aware now of the right ankle the front and the sides of the ankle, the back. Aware of this joint that allows us to move the feet, to circle and flex the foot. Anything that you notice in the right ankle at this moment.
And then moving from the ankle to the lower right leg. And exploring this whole area of the lower right leg now. The calf muscle, the shin bone. Perhaps any sense of pressure here, of tingling, pulsation, the temperature of the right lower leg, or any other sensation that is present for you now. Moving now from the right lower leg to the knee and exploring the right knee. Is it flat or is it slightly bent? And how do you sense this? What sensations let you know this? Sensing into the right knee. If you notice any sense of judgment in yourself, either judgment about the body or judgment about the way you are practicing, Acknowledging that and then returning with a kindness to the body. And now to the right thigh. Sensing at the surface of the skin of the right thigh and perhaps also into the right thigh. Perhaps a sense of pulsation, perhaps the touch of clothing, or something different. Finding what's here for you in the right thigh. Breathing and Sensing the thigh bone as it rests in the hip socket. And then coming to the right hip. And expanding awareness to include the whole pelvis. Both hips at the side, the triangle shaped bone at the back pubic bone at the front. And the pelvis has this bowl-like shape holding many vital organs, processes happening in this area of the body. And perhaps you can notice the um, pelvic floor with all the tiny muscles there the area of the genitals and the anus. And perhaps you can also sense the breath breathing in the lower belly. So aware of the whole pelvic area with curiosity and kindness, just exploring. What do you notice here? And then from the pelvic area, moving to the lower back, 
And this is an area of the body where we often tend to hold tension easily. But see how it is for you in this moment. Exploring all of the lower back with a gentle curiosity. What does that feel like in this moment? The lower back. And moving now from the lower back to the middle of the back, this area around the waist. And from here, moving to the very bottom of the rib cage and moving up the back. And perhaps sensing the expansion and flattening of the rib cage as the lungs expand and the rib cage opens with the in breath. And then closes a little bit with the out breath. Muscles expanding to invite the breath into the body. Breathing out, the rib cage once again comes back to center. And sensing how you actually feel this movement at the back. The subtle movement of the back as the breath flows in and out of the body. Noticing what's here for you with your body and with your back now. And now holding the entire back in awareness, the width of the back and the full length of the back with the spine in the middle and the big muscles on either side of the spine. Investigating with attention, curiosity and kindness, the whole region of the back. And from the back, moving the focus now to the front of the body. Landing your awareness in the area of the belly and the stomach. Another very vital area of the body where the process of digestion takes place. Also an area where we can sometimes feel emotions. Perhaps sensing the breath here, the movement of the belly, of the stomach. Perhaps also sensing if there is an experience of spaciousness in the belly and the stomach, or perhaps some holding of tension or any other experience in the belly, the stomach. Breathing and being aware of this area. Coming now to the rib cage at the front of the body. 
Oh, the flexibility of the rib cage with all the tiny muscles that are connecting the ribs, allowing it to expand and flatten with the breath. The rib cage that is also protecting the underlying organs, like the lungs and the heart. Moving further up to include the whole area of the chest in your awareness. And sensing the, this area, is there any feeling of it being open or perhaps being somewhat closed? Any sensations that are present? Perhaps the movement of the breath, the heartbeat. Perhaps feeling the bone in the middle of the chest. All our bones. And coming now to the shoulders. The front of the shoulders, the tops and sides of both shoulders the back of the shoulders. Aware of sensation here. And sometimes the shoulders tend to hold some muscle tension. See how it is for you in this moment. Sensing into the shoulders. What can be noticed here? And moving awareness now from the shoulders down both arms to both hands. And Sensing both hands as they are resting on the body or on the floor. Perhaps aware of the posture of the hands, whether they are open or closed. And maybe there's something else that you notice in the hands, like moisture or dryness, warmth or any other sensations. Going up to include both wrists. The wrists that allow the hands to circle, to bend, to stretch, to move. Any sensations that you find at both wrists. And moving now to explore both lower arms. Becoming aware of sensations, perhaps muscles, bone, skin. Moving further up now to both elbows encircling these joints with kindness and curiosity. Anything that you notice here in both elbows, 
What is the experience? Leaving the elbows now and shifting awareness to the both upper arms, and including the armpits. And sensing into this part of the body. Noticing what is present for you. Breathing. As you become curious of both upper arms armpits, shifting attention now from the upper arms through both shoulders to the area of the neck and the throat. The area where, again, many processes are happening. The ability to speak, to swallow, to breathe. Muscles and veins run through this area. How does the region of the neck and throat feel at this moment? Any sensations that you are aware of? Moving awareness now into the head. Starting with the back of the head, the place where it is touching the floor or a cushion that you are resting on. Perhaps aware of the skin, some pressure. Expanding to feel the whole skull, perhaps also the skin and possibly the hair. And also feeling the sides, the temples. And feeling both ears. Breathing as you explore. And bringing awareness now to the face. Zooming in on some of the parts of the face, starting with the jaws and the chin. Sensing the mouth. Both cheeks. Feeling the nose with the bridge of the nose and the nostrils. Perhaps aware of breath flowing in and out of the nose. Coming to the eyes, 
resting in the eye sockets, the eyelids and the eyebrows. And also feeling the forehead. And gradually coming to the crown of the head. And as we are ending this journey through the body, you may like to scan the body once more, the body as a whole as it is resting here. Going from the crown of the head all the way down through the head, the neck and throat, the trunk, the arms and hands, the legs and the feet. And then moving the attention in the reverse direction all the way up to the crown of the head. Scanning the body once more with curiosity, open to what you find. And slowly coming to the end of this practice and starting to breathe a little deeper now. And with this deeper breath. So starting to move the body, moving the toes, the fingers, perhaps rolling your head sideways a couple of times, very lightly. And sensing into the body, maybe you'd like to stretch the whole body and then taking the time to gradually come back to a seated posture.